Hello, I'm Mr. Don. I'm Mrs. Don. And Ms. Weissgood, here's your video. So on September the 11th, 2001, I was in college. Same. Not the same college, but no. we were both in college. That's right. Um, I went to Campbell University and... I was at Michigan State University. Uh, what I remember about that day started uh, with one of my roommates, his name was Brandon, beating on my door in my new apartment um, and saying, hey, hey, man, they just flew a plane into the tower. I, I kind of rolled over my bed and thought, okay, that's weird. Maybe I'm dreaming. What tower? At the time, I thought they meant the clock tower at Campbell University. So I was like, that's a bad day for somebody in a Cessna. But it turns out that upon me getting up and walking into my living room with about 20 people in it, it, it was actually the terrorist attack of September the 11th, 2001. Uh, that moment has been ingrained in my memory forever because I just have no words for that. How about you? Yeah, I think um, anytime something that is a significant change or shift that is a global, globally known event. Um, the people who were alive when that happened are definitely going to always remember what they were doing and where they were when that news came through. So um, where were you? I had just come home from a morning class and um, to actually to my dorm and um, it, it was just walking down the hall was this very eerie thing. I stopped in one of my friend's rooms on the way to my own room and um, watched exactly as the second plane crashed. Um, but in a more positive light. Yeah, 10 years later to the day, uh, Miss Dunn and I had our first child. Mm -hmm. So I guess that you might say that sometimes in life, bad things happen, but they pass. And then you, you make new memories and new things happen. So when I think about September the 11th now, I, I try not to think about the terrorist attacks and I try to think about the new life of my beautiful daughter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, you go make some memories today. Bye. So thank you to Ms. Weissgood for putting together this video. Um, I just wanted to take a minute or two to talk to you about my remembrance of September 11, 2001. Um, the first that I heard of anything happening, I was actually driving. I was on I-40. I was going to a meeting in Winston with my mom and my son. And my son was a, less than a year old at the time. And my husband called me from work. He works for American Express. And American Express has their main headquarters, their corporate headquarters, is right across the street from the World Trade Center in New York. And he called me and said that an airplane had hit one of the towers. And our thought was just that it's just so horrible. It was just an awful thing, this terrible accident. And um, so anyway, we talked for a minute and um, then I hung up and we went on to our meeting and we were sitting there, hadn't been there long. And he called me back and he said that a plane had hit the other tower. And at that moment is when I realized that it wasn't an accident. And that's just a really, really awful feeling to know that those things happen on purpose and so we sat there for a bit and then um, everybody at the meeting decided they wanted to go home and so we went home and we turned on the television on CNN because that's where the live coverage was and we were watching um, when the towers fell and that was just horrible because we knew there were people still in there that they couldn't get out because of fires and everything and I just remember watching that big cloud of debris engulfed so many blocks um, in New York and just thinking about the people that were there. And so my husband ended up coming home. The kids, I had one daughter in preschool and the other one was in public school. And so we finally got all them home. And we talked about some things and my husband, a few days later actually talked to one of, the guy was his boss at the time, who was in New York. And he said that they were all outside kind of looking at the towers when they started to fall and, and Patrick, his friend's name, recalled to him that they were running and then when the cloud engulfed them, they were running, it was totally black, you couldn't see anything and so just trying to get away. 
And I just can't even imagine what that horror was like. I know how horrible it was for me here, and I wasn't even close to there. Um, and then another friend of mine from college, she worked at the Pentagon at the time, and um, she told us that after the Pentagon was hit, thankfully it wasn't in the area where she worked, but that she got outside and then she ran. It was about three miles to her daughter's daycare because her daughter's daycare was close to the White House. And there were some concerns that there may be another plane headed for the White House. And, um, and she talked about how when she got there that she stayed because there were so many children whose parents weren't able to come. Um, either they had passed away in the crash that hit the Pentagon or they just couldn't get there. And so she stayed for a lot of hours there um, with the children. And I just, I think back about that time, and it was just such a horrible, horrible time. Um, but afterwards, I did see people in this country really um, be nicer to each other um, and to do things to help people. It's been several years ago. It's been 19 years. Um, and I don't know, there's a lot of things that happen now for security that happened because of 9-11 one of which is flying. If Back then, before all this happened, if you went to the airport to meet somebody who'd come in for a flight, you could go all the way to the gate. Um, but now you can't. You can't go back in there unless you have a ticket. And there's just so many things that have changed since 9-11. And I know that none of you in middle school were even born at that time. But please talk to somebody in your family and ask them what they remember. Because it's really important for us to remember all those people who, who died and all the the first responders who went into those buildings trying to save people, and they did save a lot of people. And so just really think about those people, and we need to remember that day because it did change how we live in this country. Hi, hey everybody. It's Ms. Swicegood. I wanted to talk to you about September 11th, 2001. Um, it's a long time ago before you guys were born. But just kind of just share my experiences with what happened because I want you to think about that event and how it changed the lives of people in America. So on that day, I was student teaching and I was student teaching um, in Rowan County, right across the county line in East Rowan High School. Um, I had juniors and seniors in my classes that I was student teaching with. Um, that was my very first day taking over the classroom for my teacher, which means that the teacher that I was working with had left me alone with the students for the very first time. Um, and I was supposed to teach with them all day. And um, that morning, after the first plane had hit, she came back into the classroom and pulled me out into the hall and talked to me a little bit about what had happened. And then because we did have older students, we rolled up the TV cart to the front of the classroom. And um, together we watched what was taking place. I think we watched it on CNN um, because they were doing full coverage at that point in time. And so we saw the second plane hit the tower as we were watching live on TV together as a class. Um, it was a very scary experience because we didn't really know what was going on. And um, since the students I was with were older students, they had a lot of questions about how that would affect them. And some of them wondered if there would be a military draft and these people were old enough to um, be 18 and be drafted into the military. So they were concerned about that. So there were a lot of thoughts going through our heads at that point in time. Um, it was a scary experience that we watched unfold live on TV and we worried about people that we knew um, and people that were in planes that day. And there was a lot of concern and nervousness about what was taking place. Um, things definitely changed after that day. Before that day, you could take people to the airport and you could walk them directly to the gate to get onto their airplanes. And I did that before with my family members. And you would walk them straight to the plane and then you look out the window as their own plane took off into the air and you could wave. 
um, that definitely changed. There's a lot of things that we don't think about that are different after that time took place. Um, that day I cried in front of my class because it was very scary and we did not know what was taking place and we didn't quite understand what was happening. And um, we cried together because everybody wondered what was going to happen next. What did this mean? We watched those planes go down in the one in the field in Pennsylvania went down in that field. We saw the one go down in the Pentagon. All of that was taking place live in front of us. And it was very scary and uncertain times. So when you watch these videos and you hear, hear about people talking about their experience, to you, it is history, but to us, it is something that we live through. And so kind of think about it in that lens of, you know, the things that are happening now. You're living through things that will be history for people later on. Um, and that's important to remember. I will never forget Tuesday, uh, September 11th, 2001. I was teaching 8th grade language arts at Tyree Middle School. And uh, the way I found out about it was one of my friends that taught 7th grade. She came down and told me to turn on TV. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And uh, she said, well, a plane hit a building in New York. I was like, really? And so um, I went and turned on the TV. And uh, we saw the second plane hit the second tower. And so uh, needless to say, we watched the news the rest of the day. And uh, it was just uh, uh, not really knowing what was going to happen. Uh, businesses around here closed early that day. Even Hanks Mall closed at 5 o'clock. Uh, airplanes were grounded. It was a time that I will never forget.